Hey, how's it going guys? Sick here, back with another video on Marvel Christmas Champions, and today I am here with another one of my 3 minute breakdowns. Now, just a few hours time from me putting up this video, the champion Cull Obsidian is going to be added to the Premium Hero Crystal, which also includes the 5 star basic pool, meaning that some lucky summoners out there are going to be pulling this legend as their first 5 star champion, and I thought that putting a quick guide up for the people that haven't used him before would be a good idea, so here we are. Cull at the time of this video is 28th in the prestige list with a prestige of 10,452 as a 565 5 star champion. He has a critical rating of 14%, 150% crit damage rating, a 13% armor rating and a 56% block proficiency. He is tagged as part of Thanos' army, size extra large and metal, meaning he can be affected by magnetism. Now Cull Obsidian is a champion that is absolutely ridiculous for damage dealing and ramping up damage through questing scenarios, but if you're looking for a utility champion, he really isn't going to be your best option. However, everyone needs a damage champion champion and if you manage to get Cull, he definitely will not disappoint. Now how Cull works is very similar to Corvus Glaive. They both build up their strength and damage with persistent charges or as they are called here, missions from Thanos. Cull has three missions to complete which can be repeated as many times as you want up until he has his max of 10 charges. This means it could take you a while to build up the charges with a max of 10 fights or with the right matchups and synergies could be done as little as three fights. Cull's three missions are to knock out an opponent, knock out an Avenger, and to knock out a champion above 95% health without resetting your combo meter, which basically just means soloing a fight without losing your combo. This means that even without synergies, you could solo an Avenger champion and gain three charges instantly on KO. These persistent charges determine pretty much all of Cull's buffs, debuffs, and damage output. Cull's persistent charges grant him Thanos' favour buffs. With 1-2 to two buffs, he gains an attack increase, scaling with the amount of buffs. With 3-4 to four buffs, he gains an increased crit damage, rating scaling with each buff. With 5-7 to seven charges, Cull has a natural true strike, stopping the enemy from evading or auto-blocking. And then from his 8 to max charges of 10, Cull gains 5% duration on his route buff. Route is how Cull deals his crazy amounts of damage. When Cull dashes back and holds block for 1.2 seconds, he activates Route. This Route buff grants him an energy damage ability, which deals a bonus 120% of the damage dealt with his regular attacks. This also prevents the enemy from activating auto block. The Route buff will last for 8 seconds, however with each persistent charge from 8 to 10 charges, this will grant a bonus 5% buff duration, increasing the total duration to 12 seconds at max charges. Rout can only be activated once per fight with an unawakened Cull. However, when Cull has his awakened signature ability, his route instead goes into a cooldown after usage, allowing him to gain a new route buff after 10 seconds at max sig level. For unawakened Culls, this is where the huge damage comes from. But with the awakened Culls, this is just the start of the crazy damage. If Cull is awakened, after route expires, he gains a fury buff, granting a crazy amount of attack for 5 seconds. This duration is also increased by half a second for each hit that you did while Route was active, which you can usually get around 10 hits in, giving him around 10 seconds of fury each cycle. Cull's 3 hit heavy attack has a 50% chance to inflict an armor break on each hit of the attack, lasting for 11 seconds. This chance and duration is increased by 15% for each persistent charge, meaning that with 4 or more buffs, it's a 100% chance, and then with 10 charges, it can go up to a massive 27.5 second duration. This means you can actually get around 20 of the armor breaks going at once, giving him even crazier damage. These armor breaks and his occasional true strike is pretty much all of Cull's abilities, the rest is just raw damage. Cull also has an extra little mechanic that allows him to parry projectiles, meaning he's a little bit easier than the average champ for fighting champions like Yondu, I'm in Infinity War, Havoc and Ebony Moor. For all of Cull's special attacks, the enemy is unable to trigger any armor buffs during the attacks, meaning it could also bypass stuff like War Machine's final phase. Cull Special 1 grants him 10 combo shield buffs, which allow Cull to be hit 10 times without resetting the combo meter, which could come in handy if you're not super good at the game yet, so you don't lose that mission of KOing a champ without losing a combo. Cull Special 2 grants him an 80% chance on each hit to pause the duration of all armor break debuffs for 2 seconds, allowing him an extra chance for some more damage. It also has a 100% chance to stun the opponent for 2 seconds on the final hit. His special 3 gives him a really big buff. Not only does it increase his attack for each persistent charge, but it also triggers all of Thanos' favor buffs to re-trigger, giving him the bonus attack, critical damage, true strike, and route duration. However, in an SP3 attack, the only really useful one is the attack bonus. When paired with his route buff, Cull can deal not only a ridiculous amount of damage on his basic SP3 attack, but also has the 120% bonus energy damage, making the attack have some of the biggest damage in the game, allowing him to overpower fights like Roll Wolverine. Cull's synergies aren't necessary, but do give him an easier way to get to his max charges even sooner once per quest. 
With Corvus and Proxima, Cole gains a bonus charge when he knocks out a tech champion. With Ebony Moore and Thanos, he gains a bonus charge when he knocks out a champion with the route buff active. These synergies don't seem like much, but when it's paired with his regular abilities, it means for fights like Vision, you could potentially gain 5 charges in one fight. With Hulkbuster, Hulk, and Gulk, Cole gains a 50% attack boost while firing off special attacks for 4 seconds. This is increased to 10 seconds when fighting hero champions. And then with Iron Man Infinity War, Thor Ragnarok, Cap Infinity War, Heimdall, Doctor Strange, Falcon, War Machine, and Black Panther Civil War, he gains an increased crit rating. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. If you have any questions or anything I missed out, then leave it in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new about Cull City. And if you liked it, then be sure to like, subscribe, and comment about which champion you'd like to see in the next stream. Mr. Champion Breakdown, thanks for watching again. See ya!